What is up, guys? This is Ben from CRKT. It's SHOT Show 2016, and we're gonna show you our new line. We have 34 new products this year, tons of stuff. I'm gonna show it to you, and I'm gonna run fast so that Mark, the videographer, won't, he won't shoot me. He's shaking his head. Let's do this, Mark. Come in close. Come in nice and tight. Let's start off with the Outrage. Now, you guys probably saw this one mid-year, but it is our piece from Ken Onion for the year. 8CR13 MOV Steel, IKBS ball bearing system, deep carry pocket clip with the cool corduroy pattern. We'll keep rolling. I like this one. Okay, so Brian Ty, you guys know his work. You've seen his customs. You've seen his other tirade and different models. This is the TyTac 2. And the reason I like this one is it's a little more low key than he's typically fond of doing. So you got glass reinforced nylon handles. The weight on this one is 3.4 ounces, 8CR13 MOV steel with a button lock. I like the deep carry pocket clip on it, and I like the fact that it's super lightweight, three ounces, and uh, it definitely feels like a solid knife, but definitely light. And so I'm stoked on that one from Brian Ty. It also comes in a Tonto point that I don't have with me right here. Let's talk about Jesper Voxnes. If you don't know Jesper, you should. This one is called the Amicus. It's uh, one of his custom designs that we're making here at CRKT this year. And the reason I like Jesper is because he's from Denmark and my heritage is from Denmark. My last name is Peterson. And uh, I don't know, weird stuff like that that gets me stoked. But this is a cool little knife, nice little folder, nice in the hand. The thing about Jesper that I like a lot is he's got great, um, just great ergonomics. When he designs a knife, it's gonna feel good. A lot of um, Scandinavian styling, just very simple. And this knife definitely nails that specifically. You got ACR 13 MLB steel, a frame lock, reversible pocket clip, tip up carry or tip down. So just a solid piece. And uh, I know there are custom pimpers out there that are gonna have their way with this handle. It's gonna look solid. So definitely a great knife from Jesper Voxnes. Next thing. Let's talk about the Fulcrum. This is a Russ Comer design that we released probably like five or six years ago, but it's kind of cool because it's, it's a fiddler knife. And if I know the Blade HQ guys, you guys are fiddler knife people. So to open it, you hit that scale right there and open it. It's got a liner lock. Let me show you that one more time. Bam, then bam. So this is like the ultimate fiddler at your desk knife. In fact, I should name it that, Fiddler at Your Desk. Can we copyright that? Is that legal? It's called the Fulcrum from Russ Comer, glass reinforced nylon handle, tie nitride finish with a tip down carry only pocket clip. So nice styling cues there. And uh, most of these, I'm just gonna throw, I don't have prices memorized yet, but uh, the nice thing about Blade HQ is they're gonna have the prices on their website. And, um, most of these are within $49.99 to $69.99 that we've looked at so far. Let's take a look at some hunting knives. Uh, this one is the Mossback, designed by Tom Crine. And uh, just a solid piece, G10 handle, SK5 steel, with a, I think it's a carbon, fi a carbon coating. Nope, I messed that up. It is a, uh, it's a black coating. I can't remember exactly what it is. I think it's a powder coat but don't quote me on that, correct it if it's wrong. But just a solid piece, and I love the ergos on it. Great ergo in hand, nice jimping on the spine, great little blade with a nylon sheath. So there's the sheath. He also made a moss back bird and trout knife, a little bit smaller, also great design cues from Tom. Beautiful pieces. All right guys, I'm flying through this, so hang with me here. I'm stoked about this stuff. So. This is a project we're working on. It's called Forged by War. Three different knives. And what it is, is it's designed by veterans. And so we pay a royalty to the veteran. And then what also happens with this program is we donate 10% of the CRKT profits to the soldier's charity of choice. So for instance, this one is designed by a guy named Elmer Roush. And uh, he was in Vietnam. And we donate 10% of the CRKT profits to the uh, Green Beret Foundation. So same with this, uh, let's see, this one right here. It's called The Clever Girl from Austin McGuan. And 10% goes to Green Beret Foundation. And 10% on this one goes to Purple Heart Homes. Um, so I'm stoked about that because it's a definite like give back to the community. We, we owe a lot at CRKT to the veteran community. So 
to be able to one make these knives from these guys and then two give back um, to some of these charities is awesome and fantastic so let's get close up on this one this one's called the clever girl by austin mcglon tactical knife austin was in the army did a couple tours in iraq and afghanistan you got a g10 handle there you got a persian blade shape this is a dark alley get home safe sort of knife really great ergos in the hand the sheath on it here nice and solid and we also have got this um kind of a tech lock that we've done this year really solid your traditional tech lock has that little piece that folds over this one push the button and it opens and then it's got a secondary locking mechanism just slide this over like that and it's not going to open so that's a cool thing you can mount it molly gear however you want to do it zip tie it whatever's going to fit your fancy there next one we got the sanger door designed by a guy named darren Sarah. You got vestorations on it. It's a dagger blade. Uh, I'm trying to remember the blade length on this one. I think it's right around like five and a half, four and a half, somewhere in there. Just a solid blade with a neutral handle. So you're gonna, when you draw it, it's uh, in the in the get or done position, no matter how you draw. Sheath the same way. So drawing and pulling from the sheath doesn't matter which way it goes in. You got a nylon sheath that's molly compatible. So. Solid piece. And then the last one here by Elmer Rausch is a pack axe. And uh, he does a lot of forging. You got a uh, hickory handle here. Just a great shape on that head. Solid piece. So I'm stoked about that because it is a cool program and it's an opportunity for us to give back. So if you have any questions on it, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll hit them up from the CRKT account. Um, other things that you want to know. Let's talk more tactical. We've got a couple more tactical knives. This is called the OC3. This is from Pat Cassio. You got a, uh, oh, what's the proper non-trademark name for this? I'm just gonna call it Micarta. It's like linen. We can't use the name that name that I just used for legal reasons. So um, we have some sort of weird name that we call this stuff. But whatever that M word does, that's what that is. Here we have a polished resin infused fiber handle. Polished res resin infused no wonder I can't remember this stuff. Polish resin infused fiber handle for grip. So that's why I use the M word, guys. Um, you got a black finish on that one. It is a dagger blade sharpened on both sides. Called the OC3 from Pat Cassio. Again, uh, glass reinforced nylon sheath with that tech lock on there. I'm stoked on that because it's just, it's simple and easy. And then you got that secondary lock, so. Next one is the Shrill from Matthew Lurch. We did three daggers this year, which is pretty cool. You got a, uh, what is that? Dang it, what is that word? Micarta is the, we're calling it, my, let's call it a spade a spade, right? It's called Micarta. And uh, so you got that blade there, called the Shrill. Definite dagger point. Golly, what is that name? They're gonna sue me for using <laughs> Micarta trademark. All right, this one's called the Pangolin from Ryan Johnson. This one's powder coated and it's nasty. So one thing that you got to know about knives is they will rust if you don't maintain them. So we actually ship them from the factory with a little bit of oil on there so it won't rust. This one's got an SK-5 steel on it, glass reinforced nylon handle, nice little get or done blade. Again, glass filled nylon sheath with that tech lock on the back. Whew, running through this, we had a lot of new products this year. Let's do two more and then we'll come to this one. Let's tease this one. Woo! Tease that one real quick. We'll come back to that. Yeah, you're gonna like that. All right. We going? Yeah, we're All right. Going. Hey guys, Lucas Burnley here. I'm uh, hanging out with uh, CRKT at SHOT Show and uh, Blade HQ. And I wanted to show you some of the new stuff that we've got coming out, um, not only with CRKT, but Blade HQ exclusives. Okay, so first up this year, we've got the Obaki Skoshi which is basically a downsized version of the Obaki. Um, if you've seen that one in the last year, you probably know how it's carried via static cord. Um, this one's basically, I want to do a, a kind of a really accessible pocket version. So it works the same way, only instead of going inside the waistband, you're going inside of your pocket. So the goal is to do Neo-Japanese cord wrapped fixed blade pocket knife. Uh, pretty excited about this little guy. Um, and then next up, totally new for this year, um, is my Buku folder. So this is 
the Burnley Kukri. Um, goal with this one was to do a really clean, large folder. So not a lot of bulk, but thick blade, 530 seconds, um, frame lock, over travel stop, and still very, very easy to carry, even in a slim pant or slacks, deep pocket carry clip. Um, so yeah, there's that guy, full flat grind, pretty excited. All right, um, Blade HQ's got some really cool stuff coming out this year. If I'm not mistaken, these first runs are 500 pieces. Um, first up, limited edition grenade squid. Um, that's based off of one of my customs. Um, we did a modified grenade pattern. Gives a little bit of style as well as a really nice grip. Um, each one of these is gonna ship with the ever desirable Burnley limited edition patch in a different colorway. Um, this one we're really excited about. This is carbon fiber scale, titanium lock side, and upgraded 12C27 Sandvik still. So this is gonna be pretty high performance, very lightweight, and uh, I was super impressed with the final price that they came in with on these. I think they're gonna do really, really well. Um, and last but not least, the Obaki with orange under panels and a satin blade. So just a little tweak on the original, going for a lot of flash. So that's the, uh, that's the lineup for this year. Hopefully you guys like it, and I'll see you at the show. All right, next one. Um, you've seen the Minimal Series classic stuff from Alan Fultz. We went with a black stone wash on this one, G10 handle um, scale. So full tang. I think this is the best minimalist we've made just because I like the drop point on it. I like that black stone wash. It's pretty incognito. So the previous ones had uh, not micarta, but that other word that I can't remember. That's going to be my theme for the video. All right, guys, let's talk about Ruger. So this is a project we've been working on Ruger knives, and uh, let me just show you my arm. Check it out. This is a freaking huge knife by Bill Harzi. It's called the Going Heavy. You got a good, nice shot of that, Mark? It's huge. You got vexerations on it. So we basically just came out with this whole new line of knives, uh, collaboration with Ruger. This one mirrors like the AR-15 style in the handle. Just a solid piece of work. I think we've got seven families of knives in that one, so definitely go check it out. Uh, you got a, a liner lock on that one. Great little piece. And last but not least, let's sign off with a pen. Tactical pen, this is from Alan Alishowitz. It's the Tau Pen 2. Takes a Fisher Space Pen refill. Aluminum, not a screw and cap. So that's the improvement on this one. Pretty cool piece. Golly, I just ran through a whole lot of stuff. I hope that was enjoyable, guys. That's the lineup from CRKT. You can definitely buy it at bladehq.com. I'm just gonna plug it, put a plug in for the Blade HQ guys because they rock. They do a great job. They care about you guys as customers and uh, they carry a lot of really fine products. And so we're happy at CRKT to be part of that ecosystem at Blade HQ. So definitely buy your knives from them and they're rock solid. So thank you, Mark, for having me. Thanks guys.